Today, we've got some hot news about Samsung's upcoming flagship phone, the Galaxy S25. Word on the street is that Samsung hasn't completely given up on its Exynos 2500 chipset. In fact, the decision to use it in the Galaxy S25 could be made in the next few weeks. Stay tuned as we dive into the latest updates. So here's the big question. Will Samsung's Exynos 2500 power the next Galaxy S25? Well, Samsung is still deciding, and it's a tough call. Local Korean media is reporting that Samsung will make the final decision by the end of October or early November. That means they've got just a few weeks to figure this out. The decision is largely based on whether Samsung can produce enough of these chips using their 3GAP manufacturing process. The problem, this process has been, let's just say, complicated. Yields have been dreadfully low, and it's put a lot of pressure on Samsung's foundry team to get things right. But Samsung is not giving up easily. They said they'll push the limits to improve production in the coming weeks. It's a race against time to get enough chips ready to power millions of Galaxy S25 handsets. In an official statement from Samsung, they mentioned, quote, We will consider the possibility of installing Exynos until the end. That's a bold move, but it shows they're serious about making their in-house chips work for the S25. So why does Samsung want to stick with Exynos for the Galaxy S line? Well, the price is a major factor. It's cheaper for Samsung to make its own chips than to buy third-party processors like the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 4, which is rumored to cost as much as $220 per chip. That's nearly a third of the production cost for a high-end phone. If Samsung can use the Exynos 2500, they save a lot of money. But of course, the big question is whether the performance and yield will match up to expectations. Now, there's also been talk about Samsung considering MediaTek as a backup plan. They looked into using the Dimensity 9400 chipset, but the problem here is similar MediaTek might not be able to produce enough chips to beat Samsung's demands. So here's where things stand. Samsung has a few options. They can go with the Exynos 2500 if the production issues are solved. They could turn to Qualcomm's Snapdragon 8 Gen 4, but that's going to be more expensive. Or they could wait for MediaTek's Dimensity 9400, but it's unclear if that'll meet their needs in time. On top of all this, Samsung's chip division hasn't been doing so well lately. In their latest quarterly report, they apologized for the drop in revenue and profits in the LSI chip division, promising to make some changes. Hope those changes be enough to get the Exynos 2500 into the Galaxy S25. That's the million dollar question right now. So, what do you think? Should Samsung stick with the Exynos 2500 or would you prefer to see them use Snapdragon or MediaTek for the Galaxy S25? Drop your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe for all the latest tech updates. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Stay tuned for more updates on the Galaxy S25 and all things Samsung. Thanks for watching. The smartphone industry is constantly evolving with each new year bringing us flagship devices that push the boundaries of technology and design. In this video, we'll be taking a close look at the two biggest names in the smartphone world right now. Apple's iPhone 16 Pro Max and Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra. Both phones are powerhouses in their own right, but how do they stack up against each other? Let's dive into the battle of the bigs. Design and size, as expected, Apple's iPhone 16 Pro Max doesn't deviate much from its predecessor when it comes to design. The rectangular shape, soft corners, flat sides, and dynamic island pill shaped cutout remain. This year, however, the screen has grown from 6.7 inches to a massive 6.9 inches, making it the largest display ever on an iPhone. Its bezels are even thinner, but the overall dimensions have changed slightly, measuring 163 millimeters by 77.6 millimeters. In comparison, the Galaxy S24 Ultra is slightly smaller at 162.3 millimeters in height, but a bit wider at 79 millimeters, making it easier to handle for users who love to use the S Pen for sketching or taking notes. Speaking of the S Pen, Samsung once again offers the stylus nestled into the bottom of the Galaxy S24 Ultra. It's a feature that remains unique to Samsung in the flagship market and one that many users either love or ignore completely. The precision of the S Pen developed in partnership with Wacom is something to be admired, making it a fantastic tool for creative tasks. Apple, on the other hand, introduces some new tricks with its buttons. The Action Button, which debuted in the iPhone 15 Pro series returns, offering customizable functions for launching apps or activating Siri shortcuts. But the real star of the show is the new Camera Control Button. This physical key, equipped with a capacitive surface, allows users to control the camera with a swipe, much like a traditional camera shutter button, enhancing the photography experience. Both phones come in sleek color options. The iPhone 16 Pro Max offers titanium finishes in white, black, natural, and the new desert titanium. 
Meanwhile, Samsung gives users a broader selection with titanium violet, yellow, black, and gray, and three exclusive colors if you order directly from Samsung's website. Display differences. When it comes to display, both phones boast impressive technology. The iPhone 16 Pro Max features a 6.9-inch LED panel with a 120 hertz refresh rate and an always-on display that can drop its refresh rate to just one hertz, keeping your wallpaper or photos visible even when the phone is asleep. Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra comes equipped with its signature AMOLED screen, also featuring a 120 hertz refresh rate and an always-on display. However, Samsung has a slight edge here with its anti-reflective coating, which makes the screen much easier to see outdoors. In contrast, the iPhone struggles with reflections in bright sunlight despite its high brightness. Color accuracy is another area where the two phones differ slightly. The iPhone's display leans towards a yellowish hue, while the Galaxy has a bit of a teal tint. But with both phones offering blue light filters and adaptive color calibration, these differences are minimal in day-to-day -day use. One new feature for the iPhone 16 Pro Max is its ability to drop to an incredibly low one-nit brightness level, making it easier on the eyes in dark environments. Samsung's display already hovers around this level, so both phones are excellent for nighttime use, performance, and software. Under the hood, the iPhone 16 Pro Max is powered by Apple's latest 18 Pro chip, built on a second-gen 3 nanometer process by TSMC. This cutting-edge chip brings significant improvements in performance and efficiency, particularly when it comes to handling heavy tasks like gaming and AI-driven processes. Apple has also focused on better heat dissipation, addressing the overheating issues that plagued the A17 Pro chip. The Galaxy S24 Ultra, on the other hand, is powered by the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, specifically tuned for Samsung devices. While both chips are incredibly powerful, benchmarks show that Apple's A18 Pro takes the lead in CPU performance. However, in 3D graphics tests, the Galaxy S24 Ultra isn't far behind, offering stellar gaming performance. Both Apple and Samsung are pushing into the realm of AI, with dedicated NPU cores to handle AI tasks. The iPhone 16 Pro Max comes with Apple Intelligence, which will roll out new features gradually, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra already boasts AI-powered features like live translation, generative image editing, and transcript summaries. As for software, the iPhone runs iOS, which has seen some welcome changes this year, bringing it closer to the flexibility of Android. You can now place app icons anywhere on the home screen and even customize their colors. But if customization is what you're after, Samsung's One UI still reigns supreme with features like split-screen multitasking, themes, and more. Samsung has also stepped up its software update game, promising seven years of updates for the Galaxy S24 Ultra compared to Apple's five-year commitment for the iPhone. Camera capabilities. Apple has made some significant upgrades to the cameras on the iPhone 16 Pro Max, particularly the ultra-wide camera, which now features a 48-megapixel sensor. The main camera remains at 48-megapixel, and the 5X telephoto camera comes with a 12-megapixel sensor. A new lens coating helps reduce the lens flare issue that has been prevalent in recent iPhone models, especially during night shots. Samsung, as always, is pushing the envelope with its camera hardware. The Galaxy S24 Ultra boasts a hopping 200-megapixel main camera alongside a 12-megapixel ultra-wide, a 10-megapixel 3X telephoto, and a 50-megapixel 5X zoom camera. While the megapixel count might seem impressive, the real magic happens in post-processing. Both phones have excellent cameras, but Samsung has a slight edge in zoom performance, while the iPhone tends to over-sharpen fine details like leaves or grass. In low-light conditions, both phones perform admirably, but the iPhone's new lens coating helps reduce the flare and artifacts that can appear in night photos. Samsung, on the other hand, continues to struggle slightly with oversaturated greens in its images, but this is only noticeable when directly comparing photos side by side, battery, and charging. When it comes to battery life, both phones pack a punch. The iPhone 16 Pro Max has a 4,685 mAh battery, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra comes with a slightly larger 5,000 mAh battery. However, Samsung takes the lead in charging speeds, offering 45 watt wired charging compared to the iPhone's 20 watt. For wireless charging, Apple's MagSafe offers 25 watt, while Samsung's wireless charging maxes out at 15 watt. Conclusion. So, which phone is the better choice? It's a tough call. The iPhone 16 Pro Max impresses with its sleek design, powerful A18 Pro chip, and improved cameras, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra excels with its S Pen, higher megapixel count, and faster charging speeds. 
Ultimately, it comes down to personal preference and whether you're more entrenched in Apple's ecosystem or Samsung's Android world. Either way, you're getting a top tier smartphone that won't disappoint. What do you think about it? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Until then, take care, goodbye.